Hi friends, today we learned about the parts of a spider. And right now we are going to read a story called The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carle. Eric Carle is the author and the illustrator of this story. What does an author do? Can we sing our author's song together? The author writes the words, the author writes the words, the author has a special job, the author writes the words. What does the author do? The author writes the words. So if the author writes the words, what does an illustrator do? An illustrator draws or creates the images. So Eric Carl is the author and the illustrator of The Very Busy Spider. Let's begin reading. The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carl. Early one morning, the wind blew a spider across the field. A thin silky thread trailed from her body. The spider landed on a fence post near a farmyard and began to spin a web with her silky thread. Nay, nay, said the horse. Want to go for a ride? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. What body part is the spider using to make the webs? Do you remember what that's called? The spinnerets. Remember we learned about these right here? So the busiest. The spider is so busy. Moo! Moo! said the cow. Want to eat some grass? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. What animal do you think comes next? Ba ba said the sheep. Want to run in the meadow? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Can you pretend like you're a sheep? Ma ma said the goat. Want to jump on the rocks? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Okay, I want you to make a prediction. And when you make a prediction, you take a guess. What animal do you think is gonna come next? What animal do you think is gonna come next? What is that? A pig, what does a pig sound like? Oink, oink, grunted the pig. Want to roll in the mud? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Do you think her web is going to be big or small? Woof woof, barked the dog. Want to chase a cat? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy. Meow, meow, cried the cat. Want to take a nap? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Does her web look like it's getting bigger and bigger? I think so. She is so busy. What animal is this? A duck. What does a duck sound like? Quack, quack, called the duck. Want to go for a swim? The spider didn't answer. She had now finished her web. Wow, look at that beautiful big web. cock a doodle doo crowed the rooster. Want to catch a fly? And the spider caught the fly in her web, just like that. Asked the owl, who built this beautiful web? The spider didn't answer. She had fallen asleep. It had been a very, very busy day. Do you think the spider is so tired from creating that big web? 
I think she's really tired. And this is the last page, this beautiful illustration. The end. So why was the very busy spider so sleepy at the end? What did she make? She created a web and what body part did she use to create that web? Spinnerets, right? Now I have a question for you. Can you put your listening ears on? What is something that makes you feel so tired? What is something when you work so hard, you feel so tired? Comment down below or you could draw a picture or you can send me a video, whatever you'd like. I'd love to hear. Bye, bumblebees.